Hello, it's Elena Strombo from SodaTutorials.com. Elena's main game name, out of game, it's Carlos. Uh, here, making another video. I made a video a bit back on setting up um, the stream setup here with a mixer, a gaming machine, a um, stream machine, all that kind of fun stuff. And there's been a lot of questions. I just put out another one. Someone was asking specifically about how I handle Discord and and in-game chat. So I put out another video that kind of just hit on that. And I got another question today, and I seem to get these as well. Um, wanting to be very, very specific. They said, well, the first video is great, but I can't see where the cables are going and whatnot. So it's very hard to actually make a video because it's my setup. So trying to make the video, carrying the camera around to show it, I don't think it's going to show it. So I decided to try and take this approach and walk through. So I set up, um, I set up a, it's not a PowerPoint deck, but slide deck of each channel each cable each connection into and out of the mixer and figured i'd go through one in video and explain it because you can put it in print um but sometimes putting some you know voice to it helps it and i'll actually put the um i'll put a link in the description for this video i'll put the actual pdf up on the web somewhere and so people can get it though so let me um bring this up here and sorry this isn't a web browser on here so it just it brings up the pdf on the game machine i don't have like Acrobat reader, anything on the game machine, just games on there. So, so the mixer setup, so dual PC setup here. I have, you know, what I'll have a link to the other video, which is the original one, so you can see the, you know, the physical video of all this. But I just want to show specifically just the mixer and just the pieces that are going in there. So, a couple of notes. Um, the pictures that I'm showing in here, these are the items that I have my setup. Most of the time I actually have the exact number, part numbers, whatever else. So what you're seeing here is actually what is on my setup. Um, I went and actually pulled down a picture of each one and tied it to. Titles on the side, you'll say like, you know, channel one, two, or channel one, or channel five, six. Those are where it's going into the mix. You'll see it on the slides on the titles you get there. Underneath the image, not only do I have the item, but I have the cable end. What cables coming out are going into that item there. If they are different, if I'm going from uh, three, three and a half millimeter stereo headphones to uh, one and a quarter inch, you know, stereo, the big pluggy thing, well, you need a cable that matches that or you have to get an adapter on that. So that should be your lead on that, you know, telling you what kind of cable you need. Left side of the slide, well, this may be back to my video, the left side of the slide, which I think is this side on the video, is, um, is the output. The right side is going to be the input. When going from digital PC to the analog mixer back and forth, there are these $10 little boxes, nine or $10 grounding loop boxes. So whenever you go from, go from analog to digital, laptops digital, stream machines digital, mixers analog, put one of those little grounding boxes. It will kill the statics in there. Buy a bunch of them, put them in there. So whenever you're going between those two, get one of these little red boxes. Uh, you'll see it in the video. I actually call it out in the main video, um, in the original video I did. Um, also, different from the video, I did add a sound blaster, uh, an external sound blaster device to my laptop. My gaming machine is a laptop. It's an Asus ROG Strix. It has a headphone port, but doesn't have a microphone port. So I, when I was trying to get output from my mixer, not only to go to my stream machine for Discord, I wanted to split it so it went back to my gaming machine for in-game chat. Because I can talk with my mates in Discord, but if we're playing with randos, then it's hard to do that since I don't have a mic over there. So I just, I added the, the sound blaster, the external box, so I can get a input into my laptop. And I'll, I'll point that out on here. So those are the notes. So I'm going to go left to right on the mixer. And if you haven't seen the mixer before, this is the Yamaha, the, the, the MG10XU. 10 inputs, use a, it's a USB mixer. I'm going to go left to right. Channel one, especially, this is channel one here. And then it goes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then outputs. So channel one, main one, what I'm talking to right now on this microphone da -da -da, is the uh, my main mic. It's a Audio Technica 2035 XLR mic. XLR cable to XLR cable. It's normal standard microphone cable. And it goes from you know from the mic into into there. That simple. Nothing more. Channel two is a lavalier mic I have. So I have a wireless unit. Now, when I record the first video, and I have to get play around with that. It wasn't like the best audio quality. Um, I just got to get positioning of the mic. I do actually have this little wireless piece that actually sits over here. And there's an XLR input from that. This is an ADU 1100. 
and it goes into channel two. So I can wear the lavalier mic and not use the main mic. So it's an either or. So it's just on those when I want to get away and not have to be talking into this main microphone here. So that goes XLR, XLR, channel two, simple as that. Channel three, nothing. I have nothing in channel three. I have nothing in channel four. So they're pretty much boring. If you have another input you want to put in, you can put that into there. Now, channel five, six, the headphone port on the front side of my case, on my um, thermal take case, and that is the thermal take case I have, the headphone port goes from the three and a half millimeter stereo headphone jack to the left and right, the big quarter inch stereo, the left and right uh, stereo. So there's, there's a cable and there's a splitter box, a little grounding box in there. It's coming, so the headphone port from the stream machine is coming into there so I can hear the noises on the stream machine be it discord alerts or whatnot so that is coming from the stream machine into the mixer on channel five six um i think i do i may have yeah on channel if i actually may have this i'm gonna have to go back and correct this i'll correct it on the image this is actually going on the wrong on the wrong thing it actually should be right here i'll correct it on the document and then we can uh, on the final document it's going into channel five six it's supposed to the end of this is not supposed to be over here it's supposed to be right there all the editing fun so anyways headphone jack output from the stream machine noise goes into channel five six three and a half millimeter uh stereo uh, headphone standard headphone stuff to the big quarter inch left and right and there's a there's a grounding loop in between it seven eight on the gaming pc so on the gaming PC, so from the ROG Strix, which now has a, a, a sound blaster, I go from the headphone jack on there to the left and right RCA on channel 7, 8. So headphone, 3.5 millimeter, to left and right RCA. So the red and the white RCA ones, the standard ones you've seen all with your video game systems and all that. Once again, this is a digital to an analog. So there's a splitter box, I'm sorry, not splitter box, a, um, an analog box, the, the ground loop in there. So this is so the noise from the game machine, music, game sounds, pew, 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 um, comes into here and it comes in on channel seven, eight. Nine, 10, this is, there's actually two inputs for nine, 10. So the first thing on channel nine, 10 is a special one on this box and there's a little flip here you can either tell it to listen to the line in ports right here or you can tell it to listen to the usb ports or to the usb port i have my mac mini which has my itunes and all this stuff i have a usb cable here going back into the usb end on here i think this is a 2.0 cable and it's called the usb a see the big square bulky one um so this goes into here now when i want to play music on my channel I set this button, I push it down, so it's set to USB, and I just play music on here. And on my Mac, this is just another output. Instead of going to speakers, I say go to, you know, go to this device that it sees on there. So music that's playing on here comes through on channel 910. Sometimes I don't want to listen to that, and I want to listen to something else. So also on 910, in these, in the left and right, the one quarter inch stereo things, I actually have a cable from there that goes to an audio technical turntable. So I have output from the turntable, and I think it's RCA jacks on that. I think it was less important on that. RCA to uh, one quarter inch stereo. I have a left and a right. So those, the output on there goes into here, and this is raised up. It's not depressed, so it's, it's up. So I'm listening to line in. So I can actually play uh, music on the turn turntable LPs records vinyl and it comes in here it's an either or so either I have input coming from here via line in or I press this button I have it coming in from the USB um, and coming in from the Mac mini so it's kind of a weird channel it's, it has it's two channels so it says it's a 10 input it's 10 concurrent input um, but there's actually you want to think that there's an extra one in there so that's all the inputs micro channel one microphone Channel two, wireless mic. Three and four, nothing. Five, let's see, so five, um, I'm looking down at my mix right now. So five, six is my stream P stream PC from the headphone port there. Um, on seven, eight is the game PC. And then on nine, 10 is two things, either the USB feed from the Mac mini, from my iTunes and whatnot, or the, um, the line-ins here from the turntable. 
that's everything coming into the mixer now we're going to switch and move the mixer up and I'm only going to focus in the top right the top right corner of this are all the outputs so I'm just zooming in on that first thing there's a headphone out it goes through these headphones so I can hear what I'm saying um, it's kind of like my my view on that so that's what comes into here um, yep it's a uh, it's a big stereo plug it goes into the cable it, I, the cable came with these um these blue headphones these are blue mix fives um, this is a monitor headphones so we have the stereo out this is actually the main output of the mixer so the main output of the mixer goes into the blue little um, headphone jack on the back of the motherboard this is the digital line and this is the best um, the highest quality input on on the default motherboard if you're looking on like on, a, on, on on my stream machine I don't have a sound card on it so I just have this running right into that default line in um, on the blue one it actually is the blue um, stereo one on there so anything I do everything I'm everything I'm doing right now talking to you is coming out those channels going into the mother, motherboard that's what gets recorded into XSplit OBS or whatever else um, FX send this is the weird one so the FXN is kind of like your auxiliary out so on the motherboard let me scroll back up so I can show this there are these dials these are your main ones this is what controls the volume as far as your stereo going out to the main stereo out but there's also this FXN this FX if you tune that up that means output from this channel or this channel or this channel will go out that FXN outline so it's a secondary channel so my microphone in channel one I have the main volume turned up right now and that's what's going out the, the stereo out this guy I also can have the FXN knob turned on and output from the microphone will go out this line and I actually have that going into the microphone in on the front side of my PC it's different than the blue line in here this is the back side this is on the front side this is a line in this is a microphone line in on the front I have this routed into there and then in discord you can go to your audio settings in discord and you can choose what input on the machine you want feeding into discord I chose that and I think in the video what I actually I actually renamed all the inputs so that input in my Windows stream machine actually says FX send out or it says you know uh, mixer stereo out uh, for the other one the backside one so I have two inputs going back to my stream machine I have this one going to the backside the blue digital line in this is what goes to XSplit and OBS and stuff I have the FX and out which goes to the microphone in in the front of my case and this is for just for discord now at the same time there's a little splitter on that cable so it does go to my stream machine but there's a splitter on that cable so it also goes back to this little sound blaster this goes into the microphone or probably the line in in here since it's the only thing I need this is going back to my game machine now this solved my in-game chat problem so I actually split this output one going to the stream machine for discord where that's at and one going to the sound blaster into my game machine for in-game chat and that came around with PUBG was the main culprit friends playing we talk in discord no problem we get a rando we got to talk in game chat I had no input going back to my laptop I didn't want to set up a second microphone so I put a splitter on that FXN part goes to my stream machine part goes to my um, to my to my game PC so this is kind of like your, your secondary is just microphone check traffic basically monitor out this is like your headphones your headphones go to your headphones this is a, a left and right monitor out you can send output to it as well in fact this right now is actually those those, those ports to connect to a set of speakers that are up here and I actually have the uh, this is a little thing I actually have those muted so you're not getting a feedback on them the reason why we have monitor outs or monitor speakers that are up there is sometimes I'm playing every this is wired into my entire rig so when I'm playing and not streaming sometimes I, you know, I want to listen to the game now it, technically I have my headphones on but sometimes I just don't want to wear my headphones so I can take these off and then basically unmute those and actually have it come through the monitor out speakers 
So this is uh, the monitor out and the headphones are basically what you listen to. So you can hear either in headphone form or in up in speakers that are on there. Yeah, and these are these are very expensive little bookshelf speakers that are powered stuff not i really like the fact that they just had a little thing so when i'm recording i can actually mute those really quick or i can turn the volume up without having to get up on them so i think that is it so let me go through the outputs again make sure we got that we're clear on that so once we come in phone port goes to your headphones what you're listening to stereo out is the main output the mixer, I have all these inputs, so whatever I'm planning to stream and send to XSplit or OBS goes out these two channels, these this these two um, connections here, these one quarter inch uh, stereos, and I direct on mine to the blue input on the back on the motherboard, the digital, the line in. So if this is what gets to um, to XSplit eventually. The FX send out is a secondary output, and I just basically send microphone traffic. And I send it to the headphone jack on here so I can route this into Discord. And I split it and send it to my Sound Blaster or my gaming PC so I can route that to the in-game chat in, in the game. Then the monitor out is for additional output speakers and all that. If you don't have external speakers, then don't use it. Now there's also, if you've got, now for the stereo out, this is actually going, so it's going, I take these two to go to the, uh, the headphone jack back here. Let me go back up here. I didn't mention that I take these two and go into the little headphone jack the three and a half millimeter here you could if you have other things you want to route to you can do these outputs well these are these are shared so this is the left and right so I could take it from these basically these XLR and route it to here I don't have cables that do that I just had these so that's why I use those but they basically these are the the same this is the left this is left this is right this is right you can put those out on there so that's it. So that's basically the, the, the magic behind how the mixer is set up. Um, as I said, what you really got to understand, and it helps to put stickers on there and literally map it out page at a time. What are you doing per channel? Microphone, main microphone, lavalier microphone, nothing, nothing. Stream machine noises, game machine noises, music box or turntable. I know exactly what all these are doing. So when I want to go and I have labels on mine, so when I want to turn the microphone volume down, or let's say I want to mute myself, I can. Now you can. And I can do that on the main controls here. Same thing with my Discord on the FX. On the FX. I can turn the FX send up or not and send my microphone traffic. Um, and if it doesn't be, it's not evident why, the reason why you want to have that FX send if the mixer is getting everything, game noises, music noises, you know, talking, this and that, you don't want that going back to your folks in Discord. They don't want to hear that. All they want to hear is you. So we want to isolate your microphone traffic, which is what we use the FX send out for. Um, could you route music to them? Yeah, sometimes. I'll be playing a song, it's a really good song, and they're not watching my stream, and I'm like, hey, it's a great song. What is it? I can actually turn the FX send on my music channel up, and they can hear it in Discord. Because I start sending that sound out there. So yeah, so the 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 mixer is I mean basing the mixer is a mixes, mixes sounds. Things come in, and then you choose where to go it out. On this particular unit, the two outputs are the stereo out and the basically the FX send out. Stereo is all the main stuff. FX send is kind of I, I call it my auxiliary. So that's it. Um, I don't talk about the other stuff. I don't use kind of like the effects and all that. I just, I think it's hard enough to understand just getting the thing going. Um, just, you know, getting that. Um, also, I don't mute things in the, like in dis, I said in Discord, or I don't mute things in the uh, XSplit or OBS. I don't futz around with muting sounds elsewhere. If I'm going to go back and I'm going to put up the Be Right Back screen, which looks like this. Now you can still hear me, but I can actually turn, I'll put this back on. I can actually turn the volume controls down. I can turn this down to zero or any of these down to zero. And then you can't hear me, it's muted that. Or, and I also can turn these down to zero as well so it doesn't go to Discord. I don't mute things in the games or on the machines. It's all on the box. 
I can mute this entire thing here. I can say, well, I don't want to turn down each one of these. I have to turn them back. I could actually say, just turn this down. This is my main stereo out control. I can say, just turn it down to zero. And then you can't hear anything. Once again, I can just kind of go like that. You can't hear me. So, um, and that may be easier to control instead of futzing around with all these. Um, same thing on the, the FX end. I think you just have to kind of manually do those. So, yeah. So basically, I control all things audio on the mixer. It sits up on the left side. I literally, it's uh, clunky at first. You're trying to remember where things are. You'll forget things. You'll be talking on stream and people going, I can't hear you. And you forgot to unmute something. Um, but you'll get used to it. And and once you've gotten used to it, it's like, oh yeah, I don't know how I'd live without that. None of this clicking on the little sound thing and, you know, in, in like down here. Can I get that in here? I might be able to. Nothing like going down here and changing the volume here. None of that. That, that, that stuff's just gone. You just you go to the mixer and let it do that. And I've said this in the first video. If you have to do this, if you have to control the volumes of the sound anywhere else other than the mixer, you got something kind of something kind of funky in your setup and not sure why or what. Um, that's it. So I'll post a link to this uh, on this video. I'll post a link in the comments to the actual document. Once I fix that one slide, I think it was five, six. I got to fix this one and move it over to here. Um, I will post a link up there with the corrected one on there um, in, in the comments. So you can do that. Um, I may put a just kind of an appendix page saying all the cables I needed kind of an inventory thing. Someone just asked me that on, on one of the other comment on the video. I'll probably put an appendix page on here that lists out each cable type that I need and probably a link to those like on Amazon or something. So saying, yeah, if you're going to get it, here's what you, here's what I used and here's a link to what I bought. Uh, you can buy, uh, just to know, I go to Amazon on that. I get Prime, I'll get next day or sec two days, you know, away. It's so much cheaper than going to, um, going to a music store. So we have a guitar center, I think or something that's close by. Um, yeah, you know, $25 for cable there or eight, $9 for one on Amazon. Um, and, and the ones on Amazon just work fine. You, you, you know, I, I buy three cables there and I'm almost a hundred bucks versus 30 bucks at Amazon. So yeah, I'm an Amazon fan. Uh, that's it. Um, if you got questions, I said, I'm trying to make this, uh, give it as much information as I can. If you got questions or comments, throw them on the video. Any of them, I, re I read through them. Uh, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Once again, this is uh, Lena Strombo from SodaTutorials.com, also known as Carlos in real life. And I will put a link out, the video, a video will pop here at the end. It will be a link to the, the main one, the first video I did. And um, just so you can kind of link back to that. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.